today it's axe restoral time I got two of my dad's old axes we're gonna try to restore let's get started so what we have um, two axes one's a Kelly perfect uh, I believe it's a splitting axe just uh, by going from its shape and of course we've got our true temper logo on here got a little bit of round over that we're gonna have to try to file outside of that the axe is in really good shape um, let's see. looks like we just have a nail looks like a nail and yeah that's wood just kind of sent through it but outside of that there's hardly any wedge left in this guy so that's the Kelly perfect the other one is just a typical plum I believe it's just a splitter nice uh, steel wedge well, I guess doesn't look rusted probably aluminum um, the round over on the edges of this isn't as bad just a little bit here it's marked M three and a half. This one, I believe, has a reusable handle. We still have to see what's going to be underneath the wrapping. Okay, so we've got the plum axe chocked into the vise. Um, got a five thirty second drill bit and some self self tapping screws. We're gonna try to put some holes in this wedge and see if we can pop the sucker. managed to stay within that wedge oh my god yeah just came out of that tooth here just came out on that one that's what it is just nice and light aluminum wedge so let's see if we can get this axe head off all right so I got a dead blow just got some shot in it and a scrap piece of African Macore that I used for making some cutty boards uh, this Christmas. So. Almost out. Okay, so that went smoother than expected. Uh, certainly much thanks to Cody over at the Wrangler Star Channel and the guys over at Axe Junkies. I mean, learning by osmosis just from those two places for the most part. So let's see what we got. So here's the plum head. Everything looks nice and clean on the inside. like when it was made this side's a little thicker than this but yeah totally doable as far as the handle it totally is restorable as far as I'm concerned we're at least gonna try it 
I do have some extra axe handles just in case but uh, we're gonna sand this thing down it's got this nice red finish on it but we're gonna sand it down just give it the boiled linseed oil treatment no cracks or nothing in it so. all right well let's see what we can do about getting uh, the head off of the Kelly perfect all right so let's see what we can do with this I'm just gonna try to get in with the screwdriver just try to pry up some of this stuff let's see what we get Okay, I have been digging at this thing. I think we finally got it. Thank you. 
So what did we learn today? Aluminum wedges? A lot easier to take out. Wooden wedges? Oh my gosh. I fought that thing forever. Um, way too long to even put a time lapse in. Maybe an hour I spent on it just drilling, picking, drilling, picking. Finally got it to knock out. And I can't use the handle. <laughs> so let's see what we got here. So as you guys might have seen, uh, the handle itself had this black wrap, which actually had some white electrical tape uh, wrapped inside of it. Um, I don't know how well you can see it on camera. Let me put this on a tripod real quick. Yeah, so here's the handle after taking that tape off. And I should have done this first. I was guessing that it was just kind of still for, uh, you know, grip, extra grip. Um, I wouldn't think they were covering up something like this, but as you can see, <laughs> this thing is totally unusable. So I should have just cut the bottom of the axe head off, drilled some big holes in it, and totally took that out. Um, <laughs> this is what I ended up with. Finally, after lots and lots of drilling, we got it out. Um, but the axe head came off nice again. Kelly Purface, looks like a Charleston, Virginia, USA, US patent, and there's our True Temper logo, so it looks like we got some grinding to do here. Not too much, because I really want to keep the logos intact, but here is the eye. And it looks like, I'm going to guess, this isn't the first time the handle's been refurbed on it because that looks like a nice drill mark there that was not me. But yeah, I mean, it looks good. Everything is straight on it, so... There we go. Both axe heads are off. Prepped for electrolysis, so we'll see you on the next one. So today I have two old axes from my dad's I'm gonna to try to restore. Never restored an axe before, never really an axe guy, just kinda of beginning to get into it. Uh, been on the Axe Junkies group on Facebook, you should check out. And I've watched a lot of Wrangler Stars videos as far as how to restore these things. So I'm going to try to take that knowledge, apply it to what I have here, and see what we got.